this next story is as tragic and sad as it is frustrating. I want to discuss the death of 32-year-old U.S. Olympic champion Tori Bowie, who died last month. Um, and this month, we are just now getting the official cause of death after the family was forced to release the autopsy because of all of the speculation and rumors that were spreading across the Internet. Um, she, uh, Tori Bowie, unfortunately passed away due to complications during childbirth. And this is such a tragic statement of what happens to too many black women in this country, the most advanced country on the face of the planet. Yet we have the reality that black women are three times more likely to die during childbirth than white women. And we have the reality that black women are ignored so much when it comes to their health care, when it comes to their pain, specifically during childbirth, that it doesn't matter whether you're an Olympic champion. It doesn't matter if you're uh, uh, just an average person who, like my cousin, my little cousin who died during childbirth around Christmas time just a few years ago. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you're a, a star athlete like Serena Williams, who almost died the day after childbirth due to a pulmonary embolism, but, but the doctors were not listening to her. She had to assert herself firmly so that she could get the proper attention that she needed so that she wouldn't die. It, it really doesn't matter. The phenomenon is documented and verified that black women are at risk when it comes to their health in this country. And it is so close to home for so many of us that it just sends shivers. I, I, it was terrifying every time my wife gave birth, you know, and, and sometimes it, it feels like it, it doesn't help to know all of these data points because you go into those situations and, and maybe it is helpful because I was on alert and she was on alert and we paid attention to every detail, but we were terrified because of that reality, you know, and then it hits so close to home for my family. And then you see now, that it's happening to star athletes, to Olympic champions. <sighs> That's the tragic and the sad and the, the, the downright painful part of the story. The other side of the story is the fact that the family was forced, they, they had to, they were compelled to release the cause of death, the results of the autopsy, because so many anti-vaxxers across this country use this as an opportunity to blame it on the COVID-19 vaccine. And that's the most frustrating part. That's the insult to the injury. We are living in such an absurd time where people can advance their careers by being COVID-19 deniers and anti-vaxxers. We, we are honestly going to be dealing with COVID-19 for the foreseeable future because of the likes of Dr. Peter, so-called Dr. Peter McCullough, who spent his time on social media allegedly, no, there's no alleged there. Go look at the timelines. Blaming Tory's death on the vaccine, which ultimately led to the family having to get a sec, uh, getting, a, getting autopsy and release that autopsy. You, you know, it, it's the likes of, of Robert Kennedy Jr., who now has the unmitigated gall to run for president so that he could bring his snake oil to the entire nation, so that he can hawk ivermectin to the entire nation. This is the absurdity of our time. We are in an anti-science, anti-knowledge, anti-reality time in American history, and they seem to be winning. They seem to be winning because there are more people today who, or at least it feels that way. I, I don't let me say that because I don't have the categorical evidence, but it just feels like, and you tell me you're the temperature of where you are. It just feels like so many people are now de outright denying the pandemic even happened denying the fact that the vaccine actually saved lives like this is where we are and it goes so far that they have to actively take the advantage of every single person who dies or even Jamie Foxx who didn't die but they blamed the fact that he's in the hospital on the vaccine this is how ridiculous ridiculously backwards America is right now not even just America this is a phenomenon all across the globe but it's extremely it's, it's the insult to injury when we talk about Tory Bowie whose family had to release her autopsy, which showed and revealed that the cause of death was due to complications during pregnancy. And then it just brings back the reality that this is something that black women face in this country all 
of the time and it is so close to home. There's very few degrees of separation between somebody who knows a black woman who died during childbirth. And then we have to combat all of these anti-vaxxers who wanted to blame it on the vaccine. God deliver us from all of these ignorant ghouls.